Yo. What's up? Not a lot. I. Lives. I'm looking at my my audio level. Wait, can you can you talk? One, two, three. All right. Yeah, your your voice is just almost as loud as mine. Okay. I think the last time anyone ran this particular Tony in a song was. Oh, I heard my voice. <laughs> my voice sounds. I think I heard it a few minutes ago, actually, when I first joined in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Live. Gotcha. <laughs> you said there's going to be a few minutes uh, talking about it before you actually start the run. Yeah. That's... I. Uh... Oh, I see your face on stream now. Oh, sick. All right. I'm here. Uh, everyone hear me? Testing, testing. I'm also here. Okay, cool. I'm live. Uh, yeah, so my name's Beautiful Day, and uh, my commentator for this run is Nami. And we, we yeah, we both uh, run Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for the end four. And I've been running this game about, uh, what, three now? And uh, I think yeah, it's almost been four. <laughs> four years. Close to it. Thick. Um, so just a little bit of background on this game. I know the, the PS1 version was a bit more popular, but, uh, for full game runs, we run on the N64 for, uh, load time differences. And this game is very high octane, uh, a lot of frame perfect, and, uh, angles, uh, timing. So any run can go south at any time. And it's definitely possible for even good runners to just completely make mistakes and mess up. And so, uh, also, I'm very sleep deprived, so please forgive me. Uh, I'm going to let Nami do most of the talking from here on out. Uh, I am ready to start. If there's like an on screen timer, uh, yo, what's up, Retro Swan? All right, uh, I guess timer start in three, two, one, go. All right, there's a little, I'm gonna have a little bit of a delay, just a couple seconds, but one thing in this game, uh, I think a lot of people don't know is there, typically you move automatically in the Tony Hawk games, but there is a setting where you can change that and you have to hold the flip button down while you're on the ground to move. And we found out a few years ago that in most of the games, including this one, it's actually faster to have that setting on. Um, yes, this is with auto kickoff. And we're going to have a big wall ride here to get to the awning. Boom, perfect. You made that look really easy, beautiful. It's insane. Another big thing in this game is generally your speed is oh. affected by how many points that you get um, in a combo, roughly. Sorry. 
And so when we have special tricks, we like to use those. So when he came off the awning, that's why he did the kickflip and twist. It's the, one of the highest scoring tricks there is. Yeah, I'd call this the Dark Souls of Steep Board Games, too. Um, and the reason he uses Rune is all the vert skaters have the fastest base speed in the game, uh, which Rune is one of the three. But also, Rune has a move called Christ Air, even though Rune Glyphbrig never actually performed that move. Um, but Christ Air lasts for just 20 frames before you can land it which is insanely fast. It's faster than a lot of the normal tricks in this game. So there's a lot of times where we try to throw in Christ Air whenever we can, because it'll just keep our speed up. I missed a tape there. I, I don't know what's going on. I guess I'm just nervous. Oh, landed on the rail, though. That's awesome. Uh, another big thing in this game is rails uh, whenever you first land on a grind you actually get a speed boost uh the longer you stay on the grind though you start losing speed so generally you'll see a lot of grinds and just immediately jumping off of them and we missed the big jump but you got the backup maybe yeah oh got you got the backup yeah You'll see a lot of wall rides in this game too, which uh, Beautiful just made all of them look easy, but that's one of the exploits that can be really difficult to do. Yeah, that... I think that, that backup tape jump, I think that's harder than the normal tape jump there. The normal one looks really cool, but it's you just have to get the right angle. And the competitions in this game really aren't that hard to cheese through. Uh, this first one, you only need about 15,000 points per heat to get gold. And we like to do that second heat, he got the perfect combo. You drop down from the grind there, and you get a gap called Acid Drop, which gives you enough to just get 15,000 in one combo. Okay. That, oh my god, beautiful wall ride. <laughs> I think... I think people have come to consensus that wall ride's one of the hardest parts of this game. You hit that beautifully, got the tape. Another Christ there. I don't know, aside from that school beautiful, I think this this run's actually going really well for a marathon. Yeah, I uh I kinda oof. Oh we're gonna what? clip the, through. This mm -hmm. This game is so momentum-based. Once you lose your momentum, it's really kind of hard to pick it up again. There's so many tricks in this game that require speed. Once you lose speed, it kind of throws the timings and rhythms off. Definitely true. And now we're on Downhill Jam, which... This level is notorious because of the geometry and because the speed you get from going downhill and all the ramps and having to mm. be up on top of the cliffs to get these objectives means one wrong move and you lose a ton of time. I can't believe you got that tape jump. <laughs> that is an insanely hard tape jump to get even when you're grinding for record, so... Uh, getting that so smoothly in a marathon, I'm impressed, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. Ah! No! <laughs> Get it! Get it! Ah! Oh, you, oh, you missed the shit. <laughs> Come back here! Gosh dang. There you go. We're on to Burnside. Another competition so this one you need about 25,000 per heat which we do combo to get special and then just a big fast plant Christ air. The other reason Christ air is broken is because it has such a huge base score that it's just I mean it's stupid how how many points you get for that compared to other things in this game. And the longest level San Francisco. What to note here, this tape jump is really finicky, um, you can't just go full speed at it, uh, or 
the ramp going up to it is going to mess you up. So if if you get that first try, that's going to be very For impressive. Sure. Yeah. Um, I don't. There's not really a, a whole lot of other big tricks in this level. This is one of the levels, though, where, like he said, momentum is such a huge part of this game, and there are a lot of little things that that's it. I messed. You have up. to do to keep your oh, speed. I I hit that little hop. Oh, you got the bump. Yeah. You were. Oh, I still looked like you were close, but unfortunate. Yeah, just you went too fast at the top of the ramp. <laughs> Which made you go too slow when you jumped. But we're just gonna finish out the rest of this level. You already got the pro score, so just need to get this last cop car in the S and then restart it to get the the hidden tape above the pagoda. After this, we'll come up to Roswell, which will be the last level, um, the third competition. Mention the bail video. Uh, <laughs> I have a bail video of uh, attempts to get the IL record oh my on, goodness. on this level. This tape can sometimes just troll you. Yep, and... Um, well, my bail video can show. Uh, it's a it's a different method for getting the tape, but it's just as troll as well as the rest of this whole level. But after this, Roswell's gonna be need um thirty five thousand per heat roughly to get gold, and he's just gonna do. Actually, I'm not sure how you do Roswell anymore. Do you just do one big grind combo? I do the grind do combo get... for consistency. Yeah. So I, I, you don't even need special, then you just do it all in, in one, right? Yep. A little slower, but it's also a lot more consistent for me than the fast way, so I'm just gonna bust it out here. Just a couple seconds slower per heat. So hard to get this angle on uh, landing on that grind though, and jumping to this guy. Fine. And that is uh, um, all golds, all tapes, and uh, now we can, we get to watch the credits. Hopefully, this doesn't get muted. This song th does this song get muted on stream? Probably. All right. Well, uh, what do now? <laughs> I guess uh, that's it for me. Thanks, Nami, for commentating. And uh, thank yeah, you all for watching. Great run. Appreciate it. What was my time? I don't have stream up. Uh, I think it was sub nine. It, they didn't stop the timer. But <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah, I didn't give them any, uh, any, I gave them no notice. So that's understandable. Um, cool. Uh, I shall end stream now. Thank you all again for the opportunity, and I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day.